Hello, Dan Harvey here for Boris FX with a look at the new features in Boris Continuum Complete 11 for OFX. I'll start off in Vegas where I've set my project bit depth to 32 bit, which will enable me to generate colours which are out of gamut for broadcast and correct them with the new BCC Broadcast Safe filter. In my effects tab I'll enable BCC Video Scope and enable a colour corrector, which pushes the colours on this shot beyond video legal limits as we can see from the waveform and vector scope displays. Now I'll add the BCC11 Broadcast Safe filter to my effect pipeline. I'll select a broadcast standard, in this case EBU103, and the colours are brought back within the legal range, making this clip safe for broadcast. Next we'll take a look at the BCC11 VR toolset for working with 360 video content. In Vegas I have an equirectangular clip in the timeline. I'll open the effects menu and add a regular Gaussian blur effect. I'll also add the BCC11 VR blur filter. I'll disable these blurs for the moment. I'd like to visualise my clip in an immersive 360 degree view, so I'll open BCC VR Reorient. Now I can navigate around my 360 degree view and change the field of view as required. I'll look towards the edge of the stitch in the equirectangular frame and turn the regular blur effect back on. Here we see a common issue with conventional filters on 360 footage. The filter is unaware of the pixel information either side of the stitch, resulting in a visible seam to the effect. Now I'll enable BCC11 VR Blur and increase the blur strength. Note how pixel information from either side of the stitch is used in the calculation. In addition, BCC11 includes VR Sharpen and VR Deflicker tools which work in the same way for seamless results. With the host plugin API allows, the BCC VR unit also includes the BCC VR Insert effect. In Blackmagic Resolve I have an equirectangular clip I'd like to composite a graphic into. I'll add BCC VR Insert to my node pipeline. I've added my foreground graphic as a mat in the media pool, which means I can load it in as a mat in the node pipeline. I'll sever the mat connection and add a second OFX input to BCC VR Insert and connect the RGB output for my graphic clip. When I select Source B as the insert source, my graphic is inserted into the 360 video environment, and I can align it with the background plate with the Insert Orientation tools. In the Reorient menu, I'll enable a 360 view and pan around my 360 environment to visualise my composited graphic in context. Next we'll take a look at the enhancements to BCC's 3D Titling and Graphics toolset, Title Studio. I'll launch the Title Studio UI and Resolve. As we can see from the perspective view I've built my title graphic in Title Studio's 3D space. In the composition settings I'll change the mode of my spotlight to shadow casting. Next I'll change my render mode to 3D. Now the objects in my scene cast and receive 3D shadows. I'll tweak the shadow softness and opacity settings as required. Next, I'll switch to the camera tab and enable depth of field. I'll minimise the fringe and gain values to eliminate chromatic aberration and blooming simulation and adjust the focal length in order to define the focus plane. Note how objects outside the focus plane are rendered out of focus, as with a physical camera. Finally, we'll take a look at BCC Primat Studio. BCC11 now includes the best of class keying technology by Primat. I'll be working in the Foundry's Nuke in this example. I'll insert BCC Primat Studio into the node graph and connect the foreground green screen and background plates. I'll quickly initialize the key by hitting the Auto Analyze button. This gives a good starting point for further refinement. I'll display the matte output and use the clean background and clean foreground tools to refine the matte as required. Now I'll switch back to the result view and use the spill sponge tool to identify the transparent areas of the foreground and automatically colour correct them to blend with the background, refining the spill area as I go. I'll switch to compare mode to show a before and after split view 
and finish off by using the contextual colour corrector to balance my foreground in context of the composite. Primat is favoured by VFX artists throughout the industry, and we're pleased to have this powerful tool within the BCC toolset for photorealistic chroma keying. Thanks for watching. For further tips and tricks, and for insights into the BCC, Mocha, and Sapphire product family, check out the tutorials at BorisFX.com.